What's going on guys, back with another video and today, so today I'm going to be testing if the low latency mode on NVIDIA makes a difference. So there's a setting called, there's there's a setting of ultra low latency and then just on and then off. So um, basically I will be running some benchmark test um, in my stress tester which will be statted onto a a FPS recorder which also counts the latency of the system which you're gonna get a full report of if it really makes a difference even on the background scale which um, is really important because it's not just about the FPS it's about the latency evolved in the system so let's get into it so here we go this is the latency of the frame time which is extremely important because the frame time evolves if you have micro stuttering uh, stuttering itself, skipping frames. So frame time is just as important as FPS wise as frame time not only affects the frame rate, but it also affects if there's skipping frames, stuttering and stuff like that. So as you can see, so this is low, this is the ultra low latency bar. This is the ultra low latency setting. And, and, and basically what this means is it when you see the, 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 like the really light blue, that's two milliseconds. This is four milliseconds. This is eight milliseconds, 12 milliseconds, and over 12 milliseconds. So what this basically means is, see how um, the ultra low latency, it has two milliseconds. That's basically the percentage of how long it is, like the percentage of the it being at two milliseconds. So, so basically ultra low latency, it, it has a decent amount, and then it had, most of it is four milliseconds. That's the average. Eight eight milliseconds is actually pretty scary for ultra ultra low latency. It's pretty high average. Then we have some twelve, and we have a really high over twelve milliseconds, which means there's micro stuttering and stutters, which right rises up the percentage of the average milliseconds of latency. So ultra low latency kind of looks kind of messy. Now this is the on. This is like the on setting, not. Not ultra, but on. We actually see a huge in a huge decrease in average latency. As you can tell, two milliseconds is the the biggest average on there. See how the higher latency numbers average dropped, all of them dropped. Even the four milliseconds dropped is because for whatever reason, my system is more stable on lower it's just more stable with the on setting ultra might be doing a little more damage than it is helping now this is on off even off has a somewhat better performance with the latency this is off right here as you can tell there's less two milliseconds and there's more four milliseconds so the average on off is four milliseconds while on ultra it was close to eight to four, but actually more, actually basically eight, basically six milliseconds on a, on average scale. So the latency shows that on was the best, a huge increase in performance on on, then ultra and off, which is shocking to me. So, um, yeah, on wins the latency. Now let's check the FPS wise. So the FPS doesn't really get affected because Keep in mind, guys, ultra low latency and the latency mode, it doesn't affect the FPS. What it does is it basically, whenever your GPU gets on max, max load, like 99 to 97% max or even 100, it basically lowers the, the, like the, um, the pop, as much latency as possible on GPU bound scenarios where like it's at like basically a max max um percentage because once it hits max percentage it can lose frames and has stutters that basically stops it so the fps has no difference this is ultra that's on and that's off there's so the average fps um so this is the ultra low latency and this is the on and that's the off so basically the average fps didn't really increase at all um, the offs did get 0.1 FPS more, which 
basically, that's basically, you won't feel that at all. You're not going to feel it at all. You can't feel that. It's impossible. Um, with the 1% lows, um, it was basically the same, but then they, but again, then off got a 0.2 increase of FPS on the 1% lows, which is good. And with the 0.2% lows, which are the lowest FPS, we, the, the Ultra got 23.9 FPS, and then the On got 25, which is, that's a huge difference. That's over a frame more than Ultra, and then Off got 24.7, which is more than Ultra. So basically, the statistics show kind of a mixed result that I'm kind of shocked on. There's, there's definitely some under the hood stuff going on that the video doesn't always doesn't like tell you guys. So the end the end result should you have low latency mode on? Yes, but should you have it on ultra? No, have it on on. Make sure. Keep in mind these are my tests, and my tests might be different than yours. But I think it's relatively the same for most systems. I have a GTX 1660 Super, i5 10400, you probably saw. And honestly, these are kind of weird results. Because you think Ultra would have the best, but On does. And Off even had some better performance little... I don't know, it's kind of weird. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this helped. Um, this hope, hopefully this kind of... Kind of show that Ultra isn't the best because people think Ultra's, Ultra's the best, lower latency. Oh my gosh, but really that's not the case. It's actually worse latency, at least for me, and On is the best for me. So it might be for you, who knows? But, anyways, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe and like. I would really appreciate it. And bye, guys.